I feel I'm part of the new wave of entrepreneurs that not only seeks to have a successful business, but also a sustainable future. Maya is CEO of her own clothing company, which she started when she was just eight years old. She's moved on to environmental activism, computer programming, and motivational speaking. She's given three of the prestigious TED Talks. Now, Maya is an author. She can do everything. That's why it's so good to have people like you to talk to us, to write a book, because you can inspire others, and that's really what you're hoping to do. And, and really, it's from what I could see, it's about kind of helping people find out what's going to be their passion and how they can strike out and, and be a trailblazer as you've done. This book will help you on your creative journey as I talk about my creative journey and everything I've learned along the way and how you can really start um, doing what you love. Definitely what you put out comes back to you. What you put out in the universe will always bounce back in some way. Just even if you don't believe it yet, the universe is listening. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that so much throughout my journey. I like know? that the universe is listening. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> uh, Maya Penn has captured the world's attention, and she's not even old enough to vote. This teenage entrepreneur creates her own cartoons. She makes headbands and scarves out of recycled materials, and she is also an author. Author, artist, filmmaker, environmentalist, and CEO of her own company at 15 years old. Ella, please wow. welcome the fabulous Maya Penn. Super Soul introduces the Super Soul 100, a collection of 100 awakened leaders who are using their voices and talent to elevate humanity. Together, they create a cultural shift towards living life more intentionally. Introducing the Super Soul 100. An injustice to one girl is an injustice to all girls. I am calling on all my sisters all over the world to tambor, velar, levantarse, tamborine, dance, Drum, dance, rise. Thank you. This is an amazing young woman who is becoming a voice for so much. She has such a deep love for the environment. It's really important to me to educate young people about taking care of the environment because since they're the future and the world is going to be in their hands one day, the world definitely needs to be in good hands. I'm here at the Capitol and we're about to do the presentation to Congress of the American Museum of Women's History and I actually did the animation for the opening of the digital report and I'm so excited and so honored to be here and to be a part of this. The American Museum of Women's History will present stories from the past utilizing contemporary high-tech platforms that will capture the imagination of generations to come. The third video was created by a young animator and entrepreneur named Maya Penn, who is here with us tonight. <laughs> this beautiful, young, talented lady created a brief video to demonstrate the types of stories we may see in this future museum. We want to build the Museum of the Future using the latest technology to make stories about great women in American history come alive for kids like me. We want to tell everyone about the amazing achievements of Americans like Sybil and the obstacles they overcame. And that's why we need an American Museum of Women's History. started an online store for eco-friendly fa eco fashion about five years ago, six years ago. She had so much success with it, she's since started a nonprofit. It's definitely something that we take for granted, but there's such a huge need here. She gave a TED talk, that's how I met her. Um, it turns out she's also 14. And this young woman named Maya, like, because she can be awesome, right? She can be awesome at a scale that I never could have imagined in my teens. And, uh, and that, that gives me a lot of hope. We live in a big, diverse, and beautiful world, and that makes me even more passionate to save it. But it's never enough to gear through your heads about the things that are happening in our world. It takes you to gear through your hearts. Because when you gear through your heart, that is when movements are sparked. That is when opportunities and innovation are created. And that is when ideas come to life. So you, you heard Maya talk about the amazing parents who are behind this 
incredible woman. Where are they? Please, Mr. and Mrs. Pam, would you stop? <laughs> it's important for all of us to do our part in making the world a better place for girls and children and all people.